Ready when you are, CB. Do I start in Canada or Mexico? It's me and Jim. Animal King. Are we really AK haters? She is Jen. Hello. And I am Frank, and we are here. I'm going to pose this question to Jen, and I want her to provide the rankings of Uh-oh. the following trains in Walt Disney World. <laughs> Jen, right. you have a pen and paper handy. I mean, I, yeah, okay. You know I don't like to rank things. It makes me nervous. But I, I, I it got me thinking after we talked to Genevieve and Constantine last week. Uh, what? How can I loop in some theme park train talk? Uh-huh. We talk about Papa Dillo potentially having a TikTok train related someday. He doesn't know it yet, but yep. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Jen, please at this time rank, and you can do it from top to bottom or bottom to top. Okay. These six trains in Walt Disney World. All right. The Walt Disney World monorail. Uh huh. The Walt Disney World Railroad. Uh Uh-huh. Big Thunder Mountain. Okay. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. What? That's a train. Oh, okay. You get on a train. I forgot. forgot. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Wildlife Express in Animal Kingdom that takes you to Rafiki's (laughs) Planet Watch. You're just trying to get me to get hate mail this week. That's what you're doing. (laughs) We have to include the Animal Kingdom from time to time. Right. And finally, Expedition Everest. Now, we didn't include the little train that goes around in a circle in Disney Springs. Just just putting that on the record mm-hmm. and making sure I left out, uh, if I left out any other trains that I'm not thinking of in Walt Disney World or some sort of train theme I'm not thinking of, you can add us at Delos Diz on the gram, on the X. On the on the TikTok, whatever. Would we not count the people mover as a train? It doesn't, it's not, it's not, it doesn't count. I mean, it, like if you were a kid and the people mover was a toy, doesn't that kind of look like a train? No, I'm not doing the I'm not doing the people mover. I'm not doing uh, that little train you got to try to catch on Smuggler's Run. That doesn't count. You got to be <laughs> on a train. All right, fair enough. I think I have my rankings already. Look how fast that was. That was pretty good. No, yeah, no shuttles of any kind. Right. Can do the parking lot tram. No, no, no parking lot trams, <laughs> especially not that Animal Kingdom one. Well, you're on that for a while. It's so far away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, are you going to go bottom to top or top to bottom? I'll, I'll, I'll go bottom to top. All right. Please provide your number six. Number six with a <laughs> surprise <laughs> to no one. Is the wild? What's it called? Wildlife Express. <laughs> yes, the Wildlife Express that takes you to uh, to Rafiki's Planet Watch. This is a train we didn't even know existed until <laughs> a few years, years ago. ago in Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Um, I have since been on it a few times. It's lovely. It's yes. very nice. I do the uh, animation experience. It's all great. It gets the number six spot because I I only just learned about it a few years ago. <laughs> Uh, I think that it, clearly the train, uh, it's, a, you know, any element of train we enjoy in general, mm-hmm. uh, the railroad ran through our backyard. It, well, it still mm-hmm. runs through Mama and Papa Dillo's <laughs> backyard. No spoilers. Correct. But uh, we, we've lived uh, practically on the railroad tracks yeah. for uh, our whole life. So any, any sighting of a train in a theme park we're in, yes. Wildlife Express uh, levels up in our eyes, but still here, number six. Yes, correct. Number five. Coming in number five. Um, I enjoy this attraction. Mm-hmm. However, it gets points deducted because it replaced a favorite attraction, and that mm-hmm. would be Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I, I think that's like a little bit of a, a little bit of a, you know, an upset win right there, yeah. upset ranking. Yeah. Well, I had to deduct points. You know, I, I enjoy the ride. Did it have to replace a great movie ride? No. No. no, it didn't. Would it have been better over at the launch bay? Yeah. Yes. Yep. And the, you mean the Star Wars Museum? Yeah. <laughs> That's a cast member who said that. That is not what we say. Correct. I've been very happy with the launch bay, though clearly something better could be there for the last right. thousand years. Yes. Facts. Uh, number four. 
Number four, um, I put Expedition Everest. Mm -hmm. Um, I, uh, I, I was just talking to, um, uh, someone about this earlier today that, uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, I've been on Expedition Everest plenty. Oh, but it's been about six years. So um, it's been a while. I, I, but I, and I don't know how shook it would make me at this point, <laughs> but I do recognize it as a very cool ride. And I know we have many friends who love going on this ride as much as possible. But uh, yeah, it gets a number four spot for me. Is it the going backwards at this point? Because I feel like that's when I get it. Is, is it just that or is it the whole attraction? No, I think it's the going backwards uh, that does it. But I don't know. I When we went on for our first Dillo's do, do Diz trip, whatever yep. we called it, mm -hmm. um, I remember coming off of it going, oh, I feel a little bit different than I used to coming off of that ride. That was the last time you went on it back Correct. in 2018. Yes. Well, now I think it comes to, you know, a little bit of more of a challenge here with the with three remaining, the Walt Disney World monorail, the Walt Disney World Railroad, and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Yeah. Um, Jen, what is your number three? I think uh, the, the three and two spot may come as a surprise to some, mm -hmm. but I did put Big Thunder Mountain in the three spot. Ooh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. I know. And, and again, could be a surprise, but... For me, because it's an attraction and not actually a train, I guess. But also, I love Big Thunder Mountain, so it's tough to put it in a three spot. But Thunder that's Mountain at night, at night, please the best. I mean, I think that that's another upset, right? I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued by your rankings here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we got, we got the monorail and the Walt Disney World Railroad left. Jen, yeah. your number two. I have a feeling I know what number two is based on what your number three was. The number three, I felt like was. You know, might have been in the one, two. Yeah. But now that we're here with the one, two, I feel like I'm going to know what your two is. But maybe I'll be surprised. What do you think my number two is? I think your number two is the Walt Disney World Railroad. That is correct. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, technically, in terms of trains, really the only train on this list. <laughs> the only <laughs> true train. But it's a classic, which is, and it, it's it's one, it's an actual train. And mm. two, it is a classic, which is why it beat out Big Thunder. So I put that in the number two spot, which would make the monorail number one for me. There's no way I couldn't put the monorail at number one because I love it yeah. so much. I think, I think the monorail, it, just looking at, I mean, I could debate Big Thunder and the railroad myself, and maybe the railroad is just... Uh, a stronger argument because it's been so long since I've been on it. So the nostalgia is palpable. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I may debate Runaway Railway and Everest. But y you are correct. The the what the Runaway Railway replaced in the great mm -hmm. movie ride, probably the Ducks to Point. So I probably would go uh, Monorail, Big Thunder, Walt Disney World Railroad, Everest, Runaway Railway, and in sixth place, of course, Obviously, it had to be. It is the sixth park, so the Animal it Kingdom attraction sense. needed to be in the sixth spot. It's the sixth park chronologically. If right. you're listening to Theme Park Thursday with Dillo's Diz for the very first time, right? Those water parks count. So, <laughs> till next time, she's Jen and I'm Frank. Bye bye. Kisses.